Emergency, emergency, and boom, there it is. 49ers go up. 49ers go up. Fourth quarter, one minute, 37 seconds. Purdy and company go up with one minute, seven. 21, 23, 49ers get life. They are up ahead of the pack. Um, there was a lot of disconnect I felt there from the Packers. Um, no two-point conversion here. They're going for the field goal, the 49ers, and that's it. 24-21 with a minute seven left. I know my uncle is happy right now. All you haters out there for the Packers, happy right now. But they had to earn this. This wasn't given, and that was going to be earned. You got to earn it from the Packers. Not saying that the Packers can't come back. This could be like a wowzer. But there's a good dagger there with time management of the clock running the ball down. And um, we'll just have to see what happens. There was a lot of good pass protection and defense there by the Packers. But they just left 49ers wide open. So there are high fives up in the booth there by the owners 21 24 so if you have other teams sitting there looking there has been a lot of exposure here with this young pack team and everybody is cohesive uh over on the packers and wow uh nobody's holding their head down it's a little bit of frustration there of course but these young guys have nothing to hold their head down about Let's do what you have to do with inside that minute. So there's a timeout. 49ers are going crazy, the stadium. So here we come with Jordan Love. So we got a minute seven left. 21-24. Everybody's got their game book out. We're at first and ten. Packers ball. We're going to have to see exactly what they do. The crowd is loud. Everybody in here is, hey, hey, I'm live. Do you know, everybody in here is going crazy. Wow. This is relaxed coverage. And there was a good completion there to Dob. Wow. 21-24. Even though this is relaxed coverage, we want to. Let's keep things straight. Everybody's in high motion. I suggest y'all go. <laughs> we got plenty of rooms to go in, y'all. And TVs are set. <laughs> All right. So, San Francisco to go ahead and shut down the Packers all the way in this minute. They're going to have to make sure that they bring on the pressure. But, and it was thrown high. They're throwing the pressure. We need to get those uh, timeouts going there. It was a high reach, but the ball went high, but just couldn't get it. Oh, my God. Off. So, wow. Jordan Love is shaking it off a little bit. Rain has started back in Santa Clara. And we're at third and two with 59 seconds. And the crowd is loud. It's caught. Musgrave connected yes. pass from Jordan Love Carlson is getting ready for field goal. Attempt to try to get him in field goal range. I know that's a lot of pressure, uh, but you know, he could do it if they can get him into the range, and then we just have to see exactly what happens there. But uh, that's a lot of pressure there for the kicker. But hey, you don't get put on a team for not so. We're in seconds, ladies and gentlemen. 49ers are on the cusp of moving ahead if this Packer team can't get anything off. First and 10. And we're going to see just what 
Jordan does. Jordan Love is trying to throw. And it's picked. It's oh over. Gosh. That's the daggers. It's oh over. Gosh. That's the daggers. And they don't let them score. That's the daggers. It's over. That's the daggers. The 49ers will advance. Uh, with 34 seconds. Uh, and some people are going to say scripted. Uh, but yeah, he threw it. I thought he was, I thought Jordan Love was going to secure it. The ball was wide open and there was nobody there. He just threw it. It was anybody's wow. ball. And the Niners just got it. So wow. there's the daggers. I don't even think the ball was late. When he looked, now look, nobody's there where he's really throwing it. Well, it's a little late, but just all caught up in, in, uh, caught up in traffic and that's it so you got 49ers on the ground praising God because that could have just been really crazy but uh you know in the Dallas game Jordan ran to get first down I just thought he was going to protect the ball and maybe wow. run it to get to the first down to put uh, the kicker in the field goal position. But it's okay. This is it. And that's it. It's over. Final score, 24-21. Two friends as coaches. They've been together through three teams Good friends, just to let y'all know, okay? They've been on a world tour together in other teams. This was a great matchup. Very proud. It's okay. These young guys, um, they're stunned. But San Francisco 49ers advance. And basically, if we're going to talk about it, they got down... Uh, by time management of the clock when they had it. And it wasn't even the picks. Let me tell you something. The picks, that pick for that much seconds, uh, it would have to be a Hail Mary to throw to get to the end zone. So what won the game overall was those two minutes were well, about three and then they used the time down wow. there was no timeouts that Matt LaFleur called but still in the grand scheme of things I don't think that would have made much of a difference if he had called time out time out time out because you want them to go ahead and score so you can get the ball back. So I thought the Niners used a lot of good time. But no head down for the pack. Good game. And the pack made the 49ers earn that win. And the pack helped expose some of the weakness by the 49ers. Okay? And both both kickers uh, had a not good. Both both teams. So this will come down to just a little bit of some semantics and really that time management of the ball at the end. Now, as the 49ers advance, if all teams are looking at this game, the 49ers are going to have to clean up some things real tight because there was a lot of weaknesses that the Packers have exposed. But what a great season to the Packers. What a great season for the 49ers. I'm going to congratulate my uncle on his team shot, Uncle Vernon. All you 49ers fans, I know you're ecstatic. But listen, nobody else needs to call here <laughs> or text me or blow me up. Because if you already been set down, wow. you're set down. Okay.